Hey, yo, what is up? Uh, Super Test News is back. Uh, yesterday I mentioned um, the Latta Struts Forden or the Tier 9 Tank Destroyer. Today we're going to talk about the ST62 version 2. What is interesting is this is a light tank in Tier 9. A very interesting light tank indeed uh, because it has a special... Uh, auto reloading magazine which is a reverse reloader um, if you're familiar with auto re reverse reloaders uh, it is something like the IS-3A if I'm not mistaken uh, the one with the reverse auto reloader which means the first shell reloads pretty quickly and the last shell reloads uh, the slowest so it is in the best interest to keep this gun uh you know you can fire it anytime you want actually basically uh, when you're fully reloaded which takes about 30 plus seconds then you can unload all three but you don't need to wait for um a slow reload for your first shell once you are empty uh you can go ahead and just wait for uh you know 8.6 seconds and then you are ready to fire your first shell now this tank was in uh, super test for just one day before it was buffed and uh, if you're looking at the stats right now you can see where it has been buffed uh, in the english blogs the reload time was slated to be 9 seconds 13 seconds and 16 seconds respectively uh, the very next day on the russian blog sites um it was all either already buffed or it was misprinted on the english websites uh, but basically uh, the first round reload is going to be 8.6 seconds the second round is going to be 12.5 seconds and the third round or the third shell is going to be 15.3 seconds this is of course a three shell auto reloading magazine uh, full reload time is uh, 30 36.43 seconds and uh, yeah that is what is going to be making this tank a very very uh competitive tank it's going to be a very sought after tank a lot of people are going to want this tank uh this is of course a light tank and you know just like all the new light tanks that are coming out right now like the char melee 75 this is more of a light tank with a little bit of a medium tank combined into it because it is pretty good uh light tank it is not a shitty light tank with poor penetration or uh you know poor um damage output this is a 300 alpha light tank with 221 uh penetration on the standard shells now to put this in perspective 221 penetration makes this the second highest penetration of all light tanks the only other tank that has better penetration in standard uh apcr shells or standard shells is um the gsor now remember the gsor only has 240 damage this thing has 300 damage so for 221 alpha this is going to be the second highest penetration um, for a light tank in tier 9 now as for the premium penetration uh, it is the highest 270 penetration on the heat shells remember this thing reloads every 8.6 seconds uh, 8.6 seconds 270 pen 300 alpha this is going to be a very formidable light tank it's going to be a very good light tank um as well as what else do we have to talk about the top speed 65 kilometers an hour going forward and uh 25 in reverse uh you know not exactly the highest top speed uh certainly not the highest um you know compared to other light tanks because um you know other light tanks are doing 64 kilometers an hour going forward on the 1390 69 on 69 kilometers an hour on the t54 lightweight on the uh gsor i think uh, oh sorry on the ru251 you have 70 kilometers an hour going forward so not the super fastest but but okay put this in perspective uh compare compare it with the power to weight ratio this thing has um 
600 horsepower, uh, which is pretty high. Uh, you know, not as high as a T54 lightweight, perhaps. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the T54 lightweight has 1,000 horsepower engine. Uh, the RU251 has 900 horsepower engine. This thing has 600 horsepower engine, uh, which is somewhere in the middle compared to all the other light tanks. But the power to weight ratio is what is going to uh, make this pretty good. Uh, 31.6 power to weight ratio. Uh, it is almost uh, as powerful as a T54 lightweight um, or a 1390. So it's going to have the kind of mobility, agility like a T54 lightweight, like a 1390 AMX, um, but 300 alpha. Okay. Reloads every 8 point whatever 8.4 8.6 seconds uh, so pretty good power to weight ratio pretty good speed pretty good alpha um, the gun um, the gun aiming time is 2.4 seconds slightly uh, slightly quicker than the AMX 1390 but certainly much slower than the uh, T54 lightweight uh, but the gun dispersion on this tank uh, it has been buffed uh, on the english block sites it's been slated to be 0.38 dispersion but i have a good um i have good information that says this tank is going to have 0.36 dispersion what is 0.36 dispersion it is the same dispersion as a char melee 75 the latest tank that just came out the flavor of the flavor of the week uh it is the same dispersion as a amx 1390 0.36 put this in perspective the t54 lightweight has 0.40 dispersion and it's not that bad um the only thing that's got better dispersion is the GSOR and the RU251, which is 0.35 dispersion. So not that bad compared to a GSOR or an RU251, a 0.36 dispersion will make this tank pretty good. It also has a um, shell velocity of 1200 that is like a, a laser pointer for this kind of tank with apcr shells as uh, standard shells and then your premium shells heat shells it's going to have 950 uh, meters per second of shell velocity that is pretty good as well so um st62 version 2 tier 9 some kind of reward some kind of premium uh, probably some kind of reward tank they're gonna say it's premium but uh, when it's nearing the release date they're gonna change it to some kind of reward tank which you know you exchange for tokens or battle pass or whatever but st62 version 2 very interesting and very very good light tank in tier 9 hope you enjoyed this video and took some useful information i will see you on the next video bye bye